Well, they actually make five changes, but you're right. A change to a five-back system that's going to free up the two on the wing backs. Jordi Alba on the left they will have the task of trying to find spaces to free up the likes of Insigne on one side, Bernardeschi on the opposite end. Our referee, Drew Fisher, blows the whistle. It is into Miami. You get us underway in the Miami pink, attacking from left to right. He's coming a little bit narrower, and that is allowing Insigne to give the width. Insigne slaloms away from the challenge of Yedlin. Good tackle back in from Avalos. A really well timed. Then a Ooh. giveaway and a chance. The Andre Kerr in behind Kerr. Big save, Gulliver. Second attempt off the woodwork and away. How did that start out? Does well to win the ball. Can't find the back of the net. And then going the opposite way, it's Insigne who starts to play off and then Busquets. You don't see this too often, but just a little bit too careless on the ball. Cheeky little nutmeg from DeAndre Kerr. Gets a second chance, can't find the back. Trying to cheap giveaway from the fullback. Been a sloppy affair so far in the middle of midfield from both sides. Messi trying to open things up. Messi trying to drive forward. Messi on his left foot. First attempt from Lionel Messi and right down the throat of Thomas Romero. Ruiz. Reyes with a chance to deliver towards the far post. Messi with the run! And it's a volley with that right foot just over. David Ruiz, though, in midfield. He starts his playoff with that challenge to win the ball back there for his team. And then once it gets wide, you know you have runners in the box. Messi drifts to the far post, gets it on his right foot. He's trying to pick out that back post with the strike, but he can't get over it. Thomas Romero's committed there. You hear the fans chanting because they're liking what they're seeing so far. They're getting Messi more and more involved. But that challenge from young David Ruiz is everything in midfielding. But one man who has increased his form over the last couple of months is Robert Taylor. He comes on, but the warm ovation for Lionel Messi. Taylor, back for Allen. Allen with the cross, and well, the ball's got full clear for Reyes. Has absolutely rifled it into the top corner. The ball just sat up for Fagundo Farias, and he couldn't have hit this one any better. Quality to finish off plays, and he gets his goal because of a late run. He's on the left side of your screen, not even in the frame of what's happening with this play. But he starts that late run, attacks the space. Good ball in the box by Noah Allen, first half sub. That forces a save out of Tomas Romero. But right into a dangerous area, right into the pathway of a player who's confident in the 18. Facundo Farias just puts his laces through it. Halftime's going to come, but now it's going to come with Inter-Miami up a goal. Especially in certain moments, they were very pleased with what they saw Toronto do, specifically being very organized defensively. They were brave in moments, creating a lot of good chances. Ibarra. Rindeski again, left foot of ball, and just too far ahead of Kerr. It's fallen nicely in. Insigne, and we talked about the sloppiness at halftime. It's continued here for Inter-Miami. Goes off. Avalos trying to play that ball too. There's the kind of run you talked about from Farias. They're listening to you. Allen, Taylor, edge of the penalty area. Still Taylor, still going around. Taylor! Absolutely nothing away from Robert Taylor because this is a this ends up being a solo finish as the ball gets cycled around. Robert Taylor just confidently shimmies past one, two. And, and Avila's. No, no, you were really impressed with some of his defensive work here, Taylor. Well, we'll be replaying his goal all week after coming on for Messi. Campana, lovely touch, Kramaski. Got options out wide. Campana staying central. Kramaski continuing his run. Kramaski with a chance. Oh, it's a super goal. The youngster right at the heart of it. What a future this young man has. The U.S. And what does he do when he comes on the pitch here? Just shows the level of quality, but more important, running off the ball. The team blessing also on the pitch with fresh legs, but set up your screen. Kramaski just continues his run, untracked. 
by the Chief Blessing. And when he gets into the final third, it's a good finish to beat Tomas Romero. But this play is just all about his willingness to attack space, to use his energy, to use his youthfulness. And that back line is all over the place now for Toronto in terms of that offside line. Taylor, Campana making the run. Campana takes it in stride, takes it a flexion just wide. Would have been another super team goal. That's a strong challenge on Franklin, who's stead down. Blessing. Antonogla making the overlapping run. Insigne off the woodwork. Super technique from the Italians. Campana. Farias. Farias. A little chip in behind. Another opportunity. class goals it's him who starts to play off from a wide position but Inter Miami what they do so well is they keep this play alive a little bit of press here sloppy from Toronto FC but then the creativity of Laguna Faria is to pick out the run of Robert Taylor and once he gets it behind the back line you tip a hat to him because this is just an absolute class finish puts his laces through it so much power so much precision and accuracy nothing Joe Mont Romero can do about it as he just watches it drift past him, fighting the back of the net for the second time tonight. Robert Taylor extends Inter Miami's lead 4 0. But a lot of that quality just came from them being energetic, playing forward a little bit more, being daring to run off the ball, and then some real quality finishes from Robert Taylor. 4 0, it ends at Dry Pink Stadium. Inter Miami 3 0.